Oh, woe is me. Woe is me. Oh. Recognize that person. Oh, I'm heartbroken. I've fallen in love and now I'm heartbroken. How do I get over this? Oh, I'm in love and I'm heartbroken. Oh. Oh. I don't know how to move on with my life. I'm heartbroken. Who was that this year? Some of y'all. Ooh. That was you? No, I'm heartbroken. Ooh, child. So let's just talk about it. People that get their heart broken gave too much. We already know that. Um, to me, getting in a relationship is not falling in love. The two do not equal each other. Just because you're in a relationship does not mean you're supposed to fall in love. Never supposed to fall in love, actually. You're supposed to grow in love. And, you know, when you fall, it hurt. That's why your heart broke, because it fell and it got cracked like my phone. I had to go get my phone fixed today. Um, but you're not supposed to fall. You're supposed to grow. This is why your heart got broken, because it didn't grow in love. It fell. And, you know, when you fall in love, it's like you give your entire heart right away to someone who you just know for a little while and couldn't possibly know 100%. But you gave your heart to them anyway, and you had high expectations of them, probably higher than they had of themselves. So all you're doing is putting trust in someone you don't know, giving your heart and your all to someone you barely know, and having a lot of expectations of someone who doesn't even have that much expectation for themselves. So all you're doing is setting your own self up to get heartbroken. Okay. So many people are so eager to experience love that they do it backwards. Okay. So many people are so eager to fall in love and be close with someone that they do it backwards and get a bad result, okay? So I always tell you guys when people ask me um, about my personal life, oh, do you love James? Uh, you've been getting called selfish, self-centered. Good for you. That's You're welcome. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Bambi. <laughs> so, you know, when when we fall in love, we, we mess up. So whenever someone asks me, oh, do you love James? I was like, yeah, I grew to love James. Mm -hmm. each day he proves himself more and more and each day I love him more and more while y'all loving y'all man less and less okay because every day he feels to prove himself because I didn't throw my heart at him as soon as I saw him and you know give him everything cookie clean for him wait on him hand and foot act like I can't live without him so I didn't do none of that I didn't act a fool so this is why each day it grows and gets better and better, which is, that's how it's supposed to be. That's how something lasts. That's how you build without working. Okay. So, whew, don't do it again. Make them prove it. You know, if you're with someone who doesn't want to prove themselves to you daily, they the wrong one. Okay, they the wrong one. So that's why a lot of a lot of women, oh, I can't date anybody like this, or I can't date anyone unless they're you know attractive and cute. Da, 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 da. Then y'all be somewhere in a corner crying a couple of months later. Ooh, it broke my heart and used up all my credit and slept with my best friend and you know whatever. <laughs> so. Remember, you know, you don't fall in love. I don't, whoever came up with that was sabotaging y'all.
Thank you, Joyce King. Much love from Canada. We love you, Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl. Thank you, Joyce. Um, you know, women are automatically set up to fail by society. We're automatically set up. So everything you feel and been told is just a setup, girls. How do you know if you're get, if you're the ugly friend? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. How do you know if you're the ugly friend? Ask a child. They don't know you. Take a picture of you and your friend. Hold it up to some child. Who's prettier? Who's ugly in this picture? Okay. Thank you, Makai. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Love you. She had never been the same after finding you. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Kids don't lie and strangers don't lie. Post it up online anonymously and say which one is the ugly one. And there you go. Um, you know, and thanks for bringing up kids. Um, but, you know, when you fall in love, you mess up, which is why, like, when you have a child, you also grow in love with the child. You don't fall. That's why that love is unconditional. Thank you, Deanna Joel Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl. Happy Friday to you, too. So you ever wonder why the, the bond between most children and parents are strong? Because they didn't fall in love. They grew in love. That love grew to be unconditional because each day it grew and grew and grew and expectations were met because, you know, people feel as if, you know, each day as they're growing, it's not so hard to fulfill something that is unreachable. So no more falling, only growing. That means you don't have to be head over heels over somebody. You don't have to, you know, be in lust with them 100%. They have to just be able to be eager to meet your expectations day after day. That's how you grow in love. Thank you, ABSN. I'm 21 and insecure about always being single. Okay, you're only 21. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, get you a rich man. Don't worry about being single. Find somebody with some money and then worry about being single. Because <laughs> I, I, I'd rather be single than with a broke man. So don't be so desperate. Get you some money. Get you a man with some money. You're 21, date older. You'll, you won't be single if you date older. They older, older, like 40, 40, in a 45 and up, and you will never be single or broke. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you, Warrior Princess. Love your channel. I've learned so much. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, so now what you want to do is, um, you know, men expect, men depend on women to fall in love so that they can take advantage of you. They depend on that stuff. They, they be trying to lay it on thick, tell you what you want to hear and everything. Um, but remember, words don't matter. Action does. And so that's the only thing that you need to grow in love with is the actions. Um, and once men realize that all their games and stuff aren't working, then they start to try to prove themselves. Once they realize you're not Pygmisha or Bonetta or desperate. So after a little while, they're going to keep trying. And then they're, then you're going to just say, well, I like this and I like that. And every day they're going to try to please you again and again and again, because, you know, whatever they're doing is good, but then they want to do better the next day and the next day and the next day, because they're trying to uh, grow with you and grow your love for them. And while they're growing your love for them, their love is growing for you because they're constantly getting to know you, know what you like, what you don't like, what makes you happy, what makes, you know, you smile, what, what you don't like. And then, you know, through that, they even become a better person. You know, they even become a better person. So it helps everybody. So teach the children not to fall in love, but to grow in love. And you will avoid all of that craziness that, oh, I'm mad because he did this, this, and that. Oh, you know, you didn't know him. You fell in love with him before you even knew who he was. So it's not a surprise. Okay. Hmm. 
How to refresh hope in finding a man I'm looking for. I'm nearly 30. I'm Muslim and rich Muslim are hard to, they aren't married. Okay. Red rose bling. You have a very, very narrow door because you, you know, your religion, your age, your culture has narrowed it by this small. So that's up to you. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, First Matter. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You are amazing. Look at that little dance. Thank you, girl. That was generous. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Happy Friday. Thank you. Someone says, go to Dubai. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go to Dubai. What if you're a dreamy young 21 year old? Then dream them dreams. And when you almost when you're about to hit 23 and 24, wake up. Okay. Wake up then. Don't don't sleep past 23. The thumbnail is cute. Thank you, girl. So falling in love is okay if you're young because you need to learn from making mistakes. Thank you, Claudia. Investing into a high quality wig on the way to get it installed now. Level up, sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, go ahead, Claudia. I hope it looks cute. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So yeah, don't don't forget to fall in love when you're young so that you know not to ever do it again. Okay, and that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to learn from the pain and all the mistakes that you made to, to, to see where you went wrong and that you never do it again. Okay. Um, um, La Nubian, you do not approach men. You just ask them questions or drop something and make them approach you, you know. You play dumb. That's the best way to approach a man is play dumb and ask questions, ask for help, drop something in front of them, and that's the best way. Mm -hmm. Why do men flirt first but then act cold? Because they want you to chase them. They feel that they are the prize. So um, ignore it. <laughs> right. Thank you. Oh, this is a top. This is not a dress. I think I got this on Amazon. Amazon.com and the sleeves are cute to look. So, yeah. If you're done making mistakes falling in love, then grow in love. Make someone prove themselves to you on a daily basis by living up to your standards. Okay? You when you stop falling in love and you uh, grow in love. It might take a long time to grow, but they need to prove themselves on a daily if they want to be, you know, in that, you know, growth. So, yeah. And they like it. They look forward to it because it gives them something to do. It's competition to win your heart and it's not easy and they don't get bored of you and throw you away quick, fast and in a hurry. Okay. They're not mesmerized by something else because they've already conquered you. They still haven't figured you out yet, and it's been years. So that's why you have to keep growing. Um, mm -hmm. You just boo-hooing because you just got your heart broke. Girl, I'm, I'm sorry for you. The divine God is sprinkle, sprinkle. She telling you, ladies, the truth. My life changed. <laughs> Thank you, girl. The divine God is sprinkle, sprinkle. So men on scamming women YouTube channels don't ask questions about love and lies, right? Um, thank you. So any advice for a 32-year-old single mother? Thank you. Look good and you don't have a problem. Don't tell no one you have kids until it's a need to know. You know. Most men don't care if you have kids unless they try to marry you anyway. You know what I'm saying? Does ghosting work as far as blocking them completely on social media and never? Um, it works if you want something from them and you're not going to talk to them until they give it to you. If they don't give it to you, then I guess it didn't work. What would you do if you have potential sugar daddy, but he drinks a lot? Use his credit card while he drunk? Get him to agree to stuff. Pull out my computer. Pull up all them online stores. And take him shopping online. Take advantage, baby. What do you think they would do to you if you was always drinking? Taking advantage, wouldn't they? So you do the same. Okay. There you go.
That's what they would do. If, if you was drunk all the time, wouldn't they try to take advantage of you? Mm-hmm. So why not do the same? Okay. How to be leveled up but still a damsel and look like I need. I still want to be in need. Okay, well, you only you need things that you don't know how to get or that cost a lot of money up front. You know, like car parts, tires, like on expensive cars or just tires or car parts or, you know, mortgage or something like that. Something big, right? And say, oh, I paid my grandmother's mortgage, so I didn't make mine. You know, you were being selfless. Um, and it shows that you're a caring person and not greedy. Thank you, Evelyn. She had just left a fish restaurant with my mom and hold on, they're going too fast. This Dusty came over to our table and said that he paid for my meal, $12, gave me his number and wants to take me on a date. Should I talk, girl, $12? Did he pay for your mama too? Or just your plate? A fish, girl, $12. Lyric Lay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. How does karma apply when playing this game? It doesn't. Girl, I'm going to tell you, $12 ain't going to do nothing for me, okay? Um, did he, he said he was dusty, first of all. So why would you entertain a dusty? I don't know. I mean, if you feel like entertaining dusties, I guess so. But I would. I was just like, thank you so much. And chalk it up to look cute. And hope for better next time. Thank you. Karma doesn't play a role because um, your goal, your long-term goal is for the greater good. Thank you, Simone. Had a date with a wealthy Middle Eastern entrepreneur last night and used Shira's advice. And he is calling me before I even made it home. Thank you. Girl, sprinkle, sprinkle, yeah. Go ahead, girl. Thank you. So, like, I don't worry about karma. If my plan is to better myself, my future, my children, I'm not worried. The, the karma is exactly what it is, a good future, because that's what I'm planning. You know, I don't live in fear because I'll never get anything done. Fear is for people who are supposed to be kept at a certain level. I don't have that fear. That's why I'm like, y'all too scared to even level up. Y'all too scared to even do what men do to you on a daily basis and still thrive. Y'all too scared to do anything. Stop living in fear. Y'all keep living in fear. Y'all will always be right there where you are stuck. Stop doing it. I don't do it. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to throw that out the window. Mm. Um, <laughs> please share some success stories. Just read them in the comments. Y'all put y'all success stories. There's a lot of them. Too many. <laughs> some men trip on... Baby mamas, most half don't marry them. High quality, don't sorry most. I don't. I don't tell people. I would never tell people I have kids until they were ready to put a ring on my finger. You know what I'm saying? Or a hundred percent interested in moving to the next level after paying all my bills. They don't deserve to know you have kids. They're not going to be their stepdaddy. So why do they need to know? How do you avoid sex without angering them? Lie and lead them on to the to the last minute. Then have a fake funeral for your aunt. Oh, my aunt just died. I can't meet you there at the hotel. I'm so sorry. Better buy you a good other month and maybe a plane ticket. Some plane ticket money, girl. So you just lead them on to, to think that they're gonna get it and then pull it out, pull it away. They won't be angry if they have a date. In fact, they'll spend more money if there's a date pending. Okay. Um. What about a married man who want to give you whatever they want if you be their secret wife? Get your money, girl, and go date whoever you want on the side. They married. Save your money, start your business. Okay. Um. been dating for six months and he haven't brought up marriage good I would be suspicious if he did okay <laughs> that's too soon I, I wouldn't date I mean at least a year come on 
What about married man who wants to control you? You pick the wrong one then. Pick the wrong one. Pick the wrong target. She I had physically you had a physical fight. My dusty ex was trying to steal money on his way out. When I would kick him out, I whooped his A good the last time and never heard from him again. Girl, you sure you ain't the man in a relationship? <laughs> well, it's good that he's gone. So, good riddance to him. Um, Never dated Dusty again, so you don't have to fight a man again, girl. Right. So, it would be very hard for a man to control me. That's all I'm saying, because of my personality. And plus, I chose the correct targets or, you know, or the correct person to marry. Y'all keep choosing the wrong ones. Okay. So, someone that wants to prove themselves to you daily will not try to control you. You know, y'all keep choosing wrong. So I suggest finding someone that is eager to please you and you will never have to worry about that. Um, mm -hmm. Sure, did you put your lashes? Yes, I did. These are my magnetic lashes that I sell on my Poshmark. These are my magnetic lashes. Y'all need to go get them. It comes in a little set. And like is this, and it's a liner that has the magnetic stuff in it, and then you just stick the lashes on while it's still wet, and they stay on. Like that. And a little applicator comes with it. Yes, it's a level of cosmetics, lady. You don't forget those; those are in full stock right now. Thank you, Aunt Vivian. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Can you explain pre-level membership? What is the difference? Um, I, if you have inquired about pre-level up to detailer, then um, you know you have to be able to, you have to already kind of be leveled up to get in the level up because um, you can't really start from scratch in there because this, this was so fast paced. So pre-level up would would be where you're starting from scratch or having to level up a little bit more. Thank you, Sienna. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, it, it's if you're going to have a little bit of trouble attracting uh, money. So uh, if, if you can't attract money with the current, you know, aesthetic, then you have you will be uh, asked to uh, change something or go to pre-level up. So if you're if you're in pre-level up, you're still working at your own pace, you're steady, you're building, you're learning how to do this, this, and that, and then eventually, if you want to move to the level up group, you can. But it's somewhere where you take your time because you get somewhere and you are like not doing what everybody else is doing, it's going to discourage you. So that's why we have the separate groups because people get discouraged too quick if they're not on that same level. When it comes to cheapskate men, just say no, ladies. <laughs> right. Say no and keep it moving. Okay, how do you get the links down below? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Just scroll all the way down in the description bar. The last two links. We'll uh, just read the last two links and they'll tell you. It's on Facebook. Okay. What if you want sex because it's good and he spends but not a lot? Then do what you do, baby. But... You know, you're not going to get what you want in the in a relationship. If something is easy and cheap, you know, they don't see quality in that. So you have to remind yourself of your value. Mm -hmm. You have three kids, husband, not good in bed, what to do? Find a hobby, start a business, focus on some money, get out the bed, get some money, push him to get some money. You know what I'm saying? Why y'all why y'all want to roll around in the bed all day? I don't I don't understand this. You could be shopping. You could be getting your hair done. You could be getting your nails done. You could be uh 
buying makeup. You could be at Sephora. You could be uh, on a vacation, on a trip. You could be anywhere, you know, buying some jewelry. Thank you, Sienna D. What age did you learn the right way to pick a man? When I was 22. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I was 22, I started, I realized that the ones that are eager to please are the ones for me. Okay. Um, and usually that was the older ones. Okay. Yeah. Y'all know what y'all know that um I you know I'm not gonna get on y'all no more. Y'all I'm not gonna get on y'all no more. Y'all do what y'all wanna do. Um I'm not gonna tell you to stop sleeping with people and having sex, but you'll figure it out sooner or later. Okay? You will figure it out. Okay. Get it out of your system. Hopefully you're under 25. Get it out of your system and only do it when you are benefiting the most from it. That's it. If you ain't benefiting from it, get up, get up. And I mean benefiting financially. Um How you going to be broke, evicted, but sleeping with somebody on a regular basis? That don't make no good sense. How your bills going to be late, but you sleeping with somebody on a regular basis? You know what I mean? Don't make no sense. So I can't validate that. <laughs> right. Ooh. <sighs> They're going too fast. Mm -hmm. How to get over his past infidelities and get the bag? Only focus on the bag and don't focus on him. The bag is the goal, not him. You know, it's kind of like being undercover agent. With some with, with these uh criminals who did your family dirty or something, and you gotta act like you their friend and stuff, or they your friend until you find out, you know, where they hiding the, the stash at, so you can bust them. Same thing. Act. Get your money. <laughs> okay. So anyway, have you had to use the tactics you teach since James came along in your 20s? I It don't stop when you're married. You got to use the this mentality on a daily basis. It works on many people, not just husbands. It works on most people. Business, uh, children, whatever. You know what I mean? works on everybody. It's not just men, but I specify it for men on this channel. So yes, you have to use it on a daily basis. Not as much, not a lot. Every now and then, yes, but you still need to use it. Right. There's no off switch. No, not until they did. <laughs> So, yeah, y'all don't need to be falling in love. Y'all need to be growing and making men prove themselves to you on a daily basis. Y'all don't need to be sleeping with people for free because it feel good, okay? Do it feel good to be broke? I bet you it don't, okay? If you are actively sleeping with a man, you should never be broke. If you are, you're doing it backwards, okay? If you're still taking your butt to work, you do it backwards, unless you own your own business. So I'm just letting y'all know. <laughs> I don't I don't do long I don't recommend long distance relationships unless they sending you long distance cash. Okay. Um
So here's my thing. You know, I, I, I talk to a lot of women. I do a lot of consultations. I see a lot of, I, you know, I hear a lot of weakness in women. I hear a lot of fear in women. And my thing is, you are the prize. Why are you afraid? I don't understand. You know? Um, so, I don't understand. And once I talk these women out of that fear and into some common sense or into some good ideas or into some ways to get what they want, they get it. A lot of them are successful at getting what they wanted. They were just too nervous or afraid of the rejection or whatever, whatever. But you shouldn't be because we're the prize. Okay. Um, remember, there's never any pressure on you. There's pressure on him. Remember, you are the prize. They are impressing you. You are not impressing them. You should already impress them with your presence. That's it. Any other thing? They need to work extra for. How do you set up a consultation? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Penny Love. Um, you can go through my Etsy store, Dark Realm. It, it might be linked below, or just go to Etsy and type in Dark Realm, a sheer star goddess. And that's my store. You can write me through there for consultation. Only consultation. I don't, I don't want any other email, but only ones pertaining to consultation. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Does your advice work for providers? Yeah, in love with, think it's harder to detach my emotions when feelings are involved. Love you, sure. No, it won't work because you're mentally impaired. You know, when you when you fell in love, you're mentally impaired. That's why when people kill out of passion, the judge calls it uh, temporary insanity because you actually crazy. Thank you, S. Question is too long. Please say hello. I have an eight-year-old with a Dusty that's never given me money, but sometimes pays for sports and her clothes for his house only. Oh, for shoes for his house only. Spends time with every week. Should I? Girl, that's not even a question. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes, put that food on child support quick, fast, and in a hurry. You can do it online if you hurry up. I wish somebody would ask me, should I put him on child support? He would have been on child support. Before the child was even born. <laughs> okay. What you doing? What you waiting for? This is why I say we the prize. Put that put that dude on child support. I don't care if he's paying for a pair of shoes. Okay. Sound broke to me. Is it worth putting on child support? Um <laughs> yes, please put him on there quick, fast. Someone says expeditiously. <clears throat> right, right, right. Okay, anyway. Like, I'm going to say no. Oh, no, don't put him on child support. You trying to do the right thing. <laughs> nope, put him on child support. Teach him how to be a man. Um, okay, so, yeah, y'all at the prize, act like it. Uh-huh. Right, right, right. Carly Espinosa, here you go. You must, you must be, you must have a ward on your face, because you, you hear every day like you ain't got no business. That is hilarious, but thank you for... Uh, relaying some false information from Chapstick Alley. You know, they love to make up stuff about people. And that's fine. You know, I'm a celebrity. They have to make up stuff about celebrities. <laughs> okay. Man, it's, it's always the ones who don't look good. It's always them ugly ones. I promise you. Cute people don't have to troll on other people because they're too busy trying to take selfies and answer uh, DMs and inboxes and go on dates and try to figure out what they're going to wear later on to catch. Okay? Y'all y'all in here with warts, with hair growing out of them, living online, trying to figure out what I'm over here doing. Right? Right. You're trying to level up, but you level down in your mind. So 
uh, Carly, you always level down. You can't level up when you level down in your mind. Don't work that way. So <laughs> hopefully you'll understand and get it. it it's like the Sealy curse. Like, you remember the Sealy curse from Color Purple? <laughs> the more you troll, the more you will level down. Straight up. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I don't I don't know what that says. Hold on, I'm trying to slow it down. Yeah, we know. Carly is a troll, but she she act like she ain't. We know you're a troll. We know you ugly. We know you can't get nothing. That's why you're here on a daily basis trying to troll in disguise. you there is no disguise. We understand. We understand. Um Every day you done to me, everything you done to me, done already done to you. Exactly. <laughs> uh huh. Who is this one? I don't know who that is. Somebody that don't look like me, obviously. Why am I teaching how to be narcissistic? Because y'all aren't teaching how to be honest and providers. If you're a man, because y'all don't learn, because y'all aren't honest and providers. So. In order to survive this world, women must adapt. So when y'all start being providers and honest, we can talk. We can talk. And until then, stay in your lane. Thank you, Sarah J. Losing weight on my level up, how to act like the prize when he never wants to take me out or on the weekends. Go out with someone else, darling. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Go out by yourself and meet another person. Let them take you out and pay for that food. Because obviously he don't care. Thank you, 1025 Sprinkle Sprinkle. Is green dress okay for freestyle? Um, mm, I don't know, depending on what color green and how you look at it. You know, sometimes it might not look good on your skin tone, so just make sure it does. Okay. Um, don't hate the player, right? Till then, money talks, right? I met the stop getting hung up on one target. Exactly. Get like three. What I think about MGTOW. Broke, middle-aged, mediocre men. I don't think about them. <coughs> Not the target. Never was. <laughs> right. Sorry. Get another one, team. All right. Mad for nothing. Upset for nothing. That's what I think about them. They're mad at women who aren't even looking for them. <laughs> right. Thank you, Layla. Uh, top tips on how to level up for the new year. Um, whatever has been holding you back. Make sure you make it a priority to not hold you back that year. That's the best thing I can come up with. I don't make New Year's resolutions. I make everyday resolutions. That's how I do. You don't need to wait till the new year. You can start today. Okay? Because if you wait to the new year, that means, oh, it's a New Year's resolution, so I don't have to stick to it. If it's an everyday thing, then, then you will. So I don't believe in New Year's resolutions. I believe in doing this. The, whatever you need to be doing on a daily basis. Whatever you're lacking in this year, make sure you're thriving in next year. Whatever you're not doing right this year, be doing right next year. How about that? Make it happen. Right. Um, right, right. Why are we attracted to married men? It don't matter. It's a man. You're attracted to him. You got money. Somebody want him. He's worth having. That's why. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. So you know, no more falling in love, y'all. Y'all have to. Y'all have been programmed backwards to fail, which is why most relationships. Don't work out while women are unhappy and don't get what they want in life and settle for somebody that don't even want them because y'all did it wrong and backwards. So 
Grow in love, don't fall in love. Don't give your all, expect all. And that's what you'll have, okay? Mm -hmm. Your mom would have dusty and get so irritated. You get so irritated every time. Hold on, let me scroll back up. Go oh, shoot. Um, every time he's, she says she's stressed or don't have no money, how do you don't have no money? Exactly. I wouldn't, I would just stop listening. I'd be mean, like, Mama, that's your fault. You would have dusty. Talk to him. Okay. Like, it's, it's time to cut it off. It's time to cut that off. Like, but I love him is no longer an excuse, but he don't love you. Okay. So, but I love him should be, but he loves me. You know, you can't say, but he loves me so much. You got to say, but I love him. You can't say, but he loves me. <laughs> because if he did, you wouldn't be struggling. Okay. Thank you, Hallis Hales. My best friend of 10 years who I have history with is trying to get help. To help me get away from this dusty. But I'm not really attracted to him anymore. Continue. Girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I don't care. Is he you rather stay with a dusty than go with somebody who's trying to help you? You deserve to stay with that dusty. <laughs> Let, leave him alone with somebody else that he can benefit. You know what I'm saying? Leave him alone for somebody else. Don't forget to hit the like button, Tiffany Dish says. Thank you, girl. Right. So you don't fall in love. You grow in love. And you'll never get heartbroken because, like I said, they'll be proving themselves to you daily, growing your love for them. And you, you keep falling, you're doing it backwards. You know, I'll repeat what I said earlier. When you fall, you get to know someone quick, fast, and in a hurry. You fall in love too quick without even knowing the person. You put all these high hopes and expectations in a person who don't even have that much high hopes and expectation for themselves or of themselves. And then you wonder why your heart is broken. Okay, You move too quick. It takes years to grow in love, not uh, weeks to fall. It takes weeks to fall like an idiot, but it takes years to grow. Thank you, Layla. Lala. I have a millionaire boyfriend and he pays for my rent and student loans. He likes to bring me around his friends. How should I act around them? Like the prize, baby. Like the prize. Compliment him a lot. Compliment him a lot. Don't, don't get into his friends. Compliment him a lot. And when you compliment him a lot, he's going to like it. And plus his friends are going to like the type of woman you are. And if you do ever break up with him, they're going to see how faithful and good you were to him that they will want you to. You see, so. Be all into him around the other friends. Always talk about him and compliment him in front of his friends. Um, that's how you do that. You don't get all in his friend's face. You don't start laughing with him. You stay right by his side and right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And men will pay attention on how you act in front of other men that with money too. So keep your keep your mind right. Okay. Thank you, um, Coco Exclusive. No question, but thanks for uplifting women. Oh, thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Appreciate it. Sure, can you tell my sister that a guy getting out of prison is a no-no? Is your sister ugly? <laughs> Is this the best she can do? Does she have, All right. If your sister's not ugly, and this is not the best she can do, ask her why she lowering her value to date someone in prison. Okay, he can't, when he get out, he ain't gonna find no job, so how he gonna give her money? Thank you, Sarah Jane. I thought he should be proud to show me off even if I gain weight. Girl, you ask me this every time. Sprinkle, sprinkle, poor thing. He want you to be thin. I cannot tell you any utter way. 
okay? Go to the doctor, go to the weight loss clinic, or go out by yourself. That's all I can tell you. Your man don't want to take you out fat, point blank, period. He has told you over and over by not doing it. I can't help you if you don't listen, babe. Either go get another one who like a fat woman or stay your butt home or go to the weight loss clinic or go out with your friends or by yourself and meet somebody who likes a fat woman. I can't tell you the magic answer because there is none. Okay, do what makes you feel happy inside. Because if it were me, I would do all of the above, honestly. Thank you to Karamia. Left the Caribbean Dusty who was controlling broke. I didn't allow me to come to his house. Thank you for teaching us. Girl, sprinkle, sprinkle. Good for you. I hope you learned your lesson and never repeat that. Okay. And girl, I would do all of the above. I would be out by myself, freestyling fat, out with friends, having a good old time, at the weight loss clinic while I'm losing weight and still looking cute. And, um, you know, working on myself. I'm going to do all of the above because I don't sit there and make excuses and be sad for something that is my fault. Okay, I'm going to either do something about it or I'm going to shut up about it. There's nothing that you can do unless you get up and do something. Whether it be lose weight or accept yourself as you are and go out and do what you need to do. You know? um, there's nothing, there's no way around it. Your husband just is telling you I don't want to be seen out in public with you. That's what he. That's what he's telling you. Love don't mean the same thing to men as it means to women. Okay, love means lust to men. They lust you. That means if you don't look lustable or lusty, you stay home. Okay, or you look like the nanny. Right. Men fall in love with their eyes. Right. Mm -hmm. So. Um, they do. They fall in love with their eyes. So if he don't like what he see, he leaving it at home. You know. Sorry, that's just the way men are, and you're just gonna have to get used to it, or do something about it. All right. Um. Thank God I caught you. Yay! Sprinkle, sprinkle. So yeah, you just gotta. Do something about it. You know, you can't just sit there and be mad about it. You got to do something about it. Being mad ain't going to do nothing. Okay. Hey. What should I say on the first date with a potential that wants an arrangement? Ask him what he had in mind. Let him do all the talking. You ask him what he had in mind. See how low he'll bid your worth. Men are afraid to bid your worth low, so they'll always bid high on you. You don't bid on yourself. Like, if they're asking, well, how much do you want? You're going to put yourself on a low level. Ask them, well, well, what did you have in mind? And if you bid too low, they'll have to go, he'll have to go higher and higher and higher. Okay? Don't answer. Ask him his opinion. Thank you, permanently unavailable. Do you still do readings? No, nope. sprinkle, sprinkle. I stopped doing that like last year, but I do consultations with, uh, you know, advice and things like that. Um, uh, right. Thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. That's true. I always do that and get so much more. What do you think I deserve? Exactly. Thank you, Lady Lisa. Sherry, you're awesome. I'm going freestyling tonight at a high end restaurant. What should I wear? You should wear something not revealing, but classy. Like maybe a midi dress that doesn't show cleavage, that's form fitting to your figure, and some heels, cute little uh, purse. Don't wear too much makeup, no glitter, no, no sparkles and glitter. Stay classy. And, you know, a freestyling at a restaurant on a Friday night, it's date night. You should go during happy hour or you should go somewhere else because that's going to be date night. Everybody's going to be coupled up on Friday night. You don't want to go freestyling at a restaurant on Friday night. Everybody has reservations and it's like um, couples night. So you don't want to do that. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you, Kelly Flower Sprinkle Sprinkle. How do you set up a consultation with you? Okay, you have to go to my Etsy store, Dark Realm. Dark Realm, a sheer star goddess on Etsy. And you can write me there only to inquire about consultations. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Janae. Multi-millionaire keeps trying to see me for a third date, but has hinted before that he is in a tough financial spot. He's playing games. And should I move on or level up? We have not slept together. Girl, he said he broke. Move on, baby. He broke, move on. He ain't, that means he's not spending money. Move on. Tell him you're busy tonight. You hope his financial things work out. It's like, oh, I thought you were in financial trouble. You should be out, dating. <laughs> Save your money. Save your money. Okay. Act concerned. Play on his ego. All right. <laughs> So, I don't know. Girl. <laughs> right. So, I just, I'm just going to say, you know, we don't go by words. We go by actions. If he ain't acting like a multimillionaire, we don't treat him like one, baby. Okay? And that's one thing y'all need to quit doing. Going by people's word. Word means zero today, only actions, okay? If he has not spent money, if he has not spent money on you as a multimillionaire, if you don't if you don't benefit from him being a multimillionaire, he, in your mind, he ain't one, okay? So stop acting like he is when he hasn't spent a dime or enough to prove it, okay? So he gets treated like every other Joe until he proves himself, okay? We don't go by words. We don't go by titles. We go by action around here. You got some action. That's it. No more. Y'all always getting fed a line, a lie, and and an excuse. And y'all hold on to it to the last minute and wonder why you don't get nowhere. Because you're not holding on to actions. You only hold it on to words. And words don't have any value coming from liars. Okay? So get your money. <laughs> I'm not I'm not holding on to nobody's word. I'm holding on to somebody's money, cash, check, whatever. I don't need I don't I can't hold on to a word. I will act like I don't believe them as soon as they start talking. Let's try this. When they start talking about this, isn't that act like you don't believe them? Like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. Start looking around. What you don't believe me? Oh, no, you know, I mean, you know, I'm more of an action person. <laughs> I believe in action, so. If it makes you feel good to talk about it, that's fine. But, like, I only respond to action, so. Ooh, I don't, uh-uh. Where can you go tonight to freestyle? Well, it's Friday. It's date night. You're not really going to find thing unless you go somewhere where single people go, like, and, you know, men of means really don't hang out in clubs. So um, you have to find some find somewhere where a lot of single people go. You know, live music venues, um, uh, bars, uh, in uh, high end areas, uh, stuff like that. Lounges. Mm -hmm. A promise is a comfort to a fool. I remember that. Yep, I made I named my video after that one time. All right. So someone said courthouse. <laughs> so anyway, you know, it's no more falling in love, only grow in love and, and make a man prove themselves to you. If you if a man is not trying to do that to you or for you, you pick the wrong one, start over. Okay. It's gonna save you a lot of time, energy, and you know, heartache if you do this, but y'all keep wanting to do it backwards. And so it's hard to deprogram women who don't listen. So you got to listen, okay? Stop falling and start growing. 
Thank you, Laura Cortez. What to say when asked if you are looking for a sugar daddy? It's like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm pretty enough for a sugar daddy? Hmm. Well, that's a compliment. I mean, you know, wow. Well, now that you put it that way, does that mean you're going to take me shopping and things like that and pay my bills? Act stupid and dumb. See what they're talking about. Make them think you're excited about the idea and let them feed off of that and end up, you know, reversing and trying to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that's what they do. And does that mean I sleep with you? And does it mean that I do this? And does it mean that I do that? And does it mean that I do this? They'll be like, hmm, this kind of sounds good, actually. You know what I'm saying? Then they'll be like, yeah, you want to be my sugar baby? Reverse it. Because if you reverse it, it's like um, you you don't know what it is, and you're asking questions, and they're there to answer. And then if they answer the wrong way, then they're going to seem cheap and broke to you anyway. So they they're going to have to work it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm telling you, playing dumb and using that reverse psychology will get you money every time. Thank you, Joy Fox. Went on a little trip with friends. Went freestyling for the first time ever. Then met the perfect target. He lives 90 minutes away. Advice. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, Maybe he'll meet you in the middle or he'll come to you if he's the right one. Okay. Give him, some, give, him, give him a reason to drive 90 minutes. Give him a reason to come see you, girl. Like, hey, I've been thinking about you ever since we met. Well, I'm going to be, I want to go out and do something this weekend. Will you be in town? Don't ask him to come. Ask him, will he be in town? He won't make himself come to town. Okay. You never ask him to come for you. Always say, will you be in town? Will you be in town? Don't ever ask a man to come to you. They need to come to you on their own. Don't ever, ever go to them unless, you know, they're going to give you a stack. So are you going to be in town this weekend? Yeah, I'll be there. There you go. Thank you, Maya. What if he only spends on shopping dates, trips, vacation, medical bills, but don't give you cash? You got to figure out how to turn some of that into cash, like the shopping. Go and buy you something very expensive, some type of purse, some type of big bill item, and then take it back and get the cash for it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm-hmm. Where are my eyelashes from? <laughs> They're from me to level up cosmetics, darling. You didn't know? The link is below. The first link will take you to my Level Up store on Poshmark, and you will be able to get these lashes as well. They are magnetic lashes that come with the liner. And you like paint the liner on like liquid liner, and you stick the lashes on while they're still wet, and but voila, they stay on. No messy glue. And it comes with the whole kit. You get a little compact mirror with the lashes in it that's a pretty rose gold. It's a level up cosmetics on the front. Oops. And you get the liner and you get the applicator. So y'all go check that out and get y'all some lashes. Get y'all some lashes. Stay dust and struggle free. Yes, ma'am. If you dusty, if you would have dusty and you struggling and you on this channel, hopefully you won't be in 2020. Okay. Right. You won't be in 2020. We need to make that our goal. If you would have dusty right now in 2020, sometime during the year of 2020, you got you out. You on your own or you doing better. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Can you compliment a guy too much? Yeah, if your name is Pigmesia. Mm hmm. You sure can. They're supposed to be complimenting you, darling. You are the prize. Okay. Only thing you need to compliment a man on is how smart and funny he is when he's telling a joke or trying to teach you something. Otherwise, it's out of order. Mm-hmm. You love your dusty. Ooh, why? 
You love him like a child. That's so sweet. You love yourself. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know, if she's young, she's supposed to fall in love so she can understand what it's all about. She's supposed to get her valuable lessons so she doesn't repeat in the future. That's it. You know, we can't be mad for people falling in love with Dusties at, at a young age. Hopefully she's young. She'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Right. Someone says, I'll treat TV Planet says he'll treat you right, pick Misha. He'll treat you right for tonight. For tonight only. <laughs> Thank you, Claudia. Do I focus on just my knees so I don't get attached? Yes, darling. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Let me ask you a question. If this was a friend, let's talk about this with common sense. If you met a friend who was a woman or a girl, the same sex, would you do the same thing you would do? Would you act the same way you would act with a man that is attractive? No. Are you going to tell your, your newfound friend all your secrets, give your all to them, try to hurry up and move in with them? Are you going to want to be with them all the time? Are you going to always ask where they're going and being jealous when they don't answer their No, because it's crazy, right? Yeah, it's crazy. What do you think about when you meet a friend? Well, I hope she wants to go where I want to go, because if not, I'm going to go by myself or call somebody else. Thank you, Claudia Laura. It's hard because my provider is so hot. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, uh, many other women think that too, so we'll keep that in your mind as well. Get what you can get. And hopefully it will work out. But we treat them just like you would treat a normal friend, especially in the beginning. OK, you're not going to be a stalk, crazy stalker. You know, when you meet a new friend, you make them earn your friendship. You make them earn your trust. You make them earn your stories and your secrets and your all that. You know, you don't treat them like you'll never see another man again or another friend again. So learn how to treat men as friends first. So they have something to work towards. You treat them like pick me should do. They already know that they got you. What's the challenge in that? You know, so think how crazy it looks if that, if that was a girl. It looks crazy, right? So think about it. It, it seems crazy to those people as well. And that's why they take advantage of you because they know something's wrong with your mind. It's altered and they can get whatever they want out of you because you are so desperate. Okay. So we're not going to do that in 2020. <laughs> um, treat them just like a friend until they prove themselves otherwise. Okay. A friend is not going to take you to Applebee's uh, that wants to really impress you. They're going to take you to the nice spot, right? You're not going to fall in love with him until he's proven himself. I mean, you're not even going to fall. You're not going to grow in love with him until he's proven himself to be loved. Why should he be loved? What has he done? You know? So think of it like that. Um, and, and once you think about it, you're like, yeah, yeah. Like the old Janet Jackson song, what have you done for me lately? Nothing. So why am I so worried about you? You know. Mm-hmm. How to say to your date that he needs to pay for your cab fare? Tell him. Oh, you, you got to get my cab home. Like a gentleman. Add that in. Oh, you got to get my cab home. You know, you gotta get you gotta get my cab fee home like a gentleman. Throw the gentleman part in there. Like if you don't do it, he ain't no gentleman. You will never see you again. He cheap and broke. Gotta throw that last part in. Oh, you gotta get my cab home like a gentleman. And smile. That's it. Demand it, expect it. Don't ask what you're asking for. 
You the prize. Thank you, TV Planet. Positive reinforcement works. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes, it does. <laughs> right. Why do for a woman who only want the back? Because you want something else. That's why. If a man wants something from a woman, he gonna work for it. That's what that's what they do, you know. And if you work for it, you'll eventually get it, and you'll know you've earned it, and it'll feel good. You won't feel like you cheated her out of it, like you lied to get it, like she's gonna be disappointed in you later, like you gotta hurry up and move on and find somebody else before she finds out the real you. And she's gonna be very comfortable if you can get it the right way. That's it. Um, so yeah. Um y'all have to get in the whole new mind frame, which is I am the prize. I expect high maintenance treatment. Now, I'm afraid to ask, well, how do I ask for this? No, you expect. You act like this is the norm. Anything less is uncivilized. That's what you act like. That's what you walk in there acting like. If you want somebody to pay for your cap, say it like it's no thing. Smile with it. Put a compliment on the end of it. And you always give them the option to either stay in that light or step out of it and look bad. Oh, you're gonna get my cap home like a gentleman, right? Thank you. You've already said thank you. You've already told him he was a gentleman. Is he gonna pull out and say, I'm not a gentleman and you have nothing to thank me for, go get your own cap? He ain't gonna do that because you've already put him in that light. So just put them in the light on the pedestal that they're a gentleman and thank you for getting my cap home. You're such a gentleman. What are you going to do? Oh, I didn't get your cap home. Oh, I'm not a gentleman. No, he's going to do it. So that's how you get it. Act like you already expected and know you're going to get it. And stop worrying about asking and begging because you are the prize. Thank you, Layla. How, to keep, how do you keep James to earn you? Are you ever mean? I mean every day, baby. In order to get nice, you got to do right. Okay. If you can make somebody smile that's mean every day, you feel accomplished, don't you? It's like when you go to work and you have a mean boss. If you can get them to smile and say, oh, good job, you feel accomplished, you feel good, you feel like you might get away, you feel like the world is on your shoulder. Ooh. I mean, has been lifted off your shoulder. You feel like you got closer to that ball. You feel like, oh, he might give you a raise. No, you know, it's the same thing. I'm not mean to the fact that, I mean, to the point where it's disturbing. I'm just not um, going to just be happy for no reason. You know what I mean? You got to earn that smile. got to earn that smile. If you don't earn your smile on a daily basis, what are you doing? Okay. Resting face. And if he says something silly or stupid, then he gets the smile. You know, but resting face. Thank you, Santana Sanchez. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Hi, Shira. Your videos have helped me tremendously, and now I'm teaching my daughter the game. We will be watching the T.I. Video together. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Good for you. <laughs> earn a smile. Earn a compliment to you. Girl, you are telling the truth. A lot of truth women aren't ready to face. I know. That's because they've been programmed backwards. And I, I blame men. I blame men for programming women backwards. So they can get what they want. Right? So don't ever, don't ever fall, only grow. Allow them to prove themselves. And the last time, the last thing I'm going to say is if you realize that your man does not think that you're worth proving himself to or for, ask yourself, does he love you? Okay. Because it means you're not worth it to him. 
Okay. And that should tell you exactly who you are to him. That's it. You know your place. You know where you stand. You know your value with that particular man. And then maybe you'll wise up and stop giving your all and expecting more out of him. Thank you, feminine goddess. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I like keeping sure to myself. I don't tell nobody the game. Good for you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm your secret. <laughs> so, mm hmm. Mm, I always tell them you're so lucky to be with me, right? Well, I wouldn't go that far, but I would just brag on myself. Thank you, Laura. Is it okay to ask to be provided a private car Uber on the first date to get to the restaurant and go back home? Does it look good on the first date? Um, if you say you don't want to drink and drive, it might. Because that means he thinks he might get lucky, girl. And he was in that Uber right away. I wouldn't take Uber. Though. I don't believe in taking Uber. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Laura Cortez. But um, if you say, well, I don't like to drink and drive. And if we have any wine or champagne or have a little bit too much to drink, I want to be safe. That means he thinks he might get, get some. So he'll do it for sure. Um, for me, I don't I, I don't take Uber. I don't take Lyft. The people, the human trafficking and kidnapping folks. <laughs> Okay, I don't do that. I don't call it and send me a town car. Okay, send me a taxi. He loves me. Live together. No tips. Please love you, huh? He loves me. Y'all live together. No ring tips, please. I hope you ain't cooking and cleaning. Layla, sprinkle, sprinkle. I hope you ain't doing no laundry either for him. I hope you ain't doing nothing for him. Made like. If, I, if you are, quit now. Don't do it. Stop. Only clean your only clean your clothes. Cook for yourself. Eat before you get home. Don't do nothing for that man. Why are you living with him? Because he don't need to buy you no ring. Why he need to buy the ring when he got the cow for free, baby? Okay? And still don't do it afterwards. <laughs> Make him hire a maid. Okay? Um, um, tell him you're smiling on the inside, right? No wife duties, right? Right. Human trafficking, trust no one. Mm -mm. Y'all will not pay. Y'all can't pay me to take no Uber. I will look at you crazy. Even when I go to the airport and stuff, I'll be like, uh, town car limo service only. No, thank you. No Ubers. Okay. Okay. Sure. I told my friend that moving in with her man while dating is number one way to become a technician and wife without a ring. Do you believe in cohabitating? I believe in cohabitating before marriage. If he's paying all the bills, you ain't got to work and you ain't cooking and clean. Yes, I do. If you are Acting like a pygmy should, which is working, cooking, and cleaning for a man that hasn't hasn't given you his last name or a ring, then yes, that is pygmy should. But to be provided for and taken care of by a man without uh, a ring uh, means you don't do any wifely things. Okay, so <laughs> no man will want to pay off your student loans. That's why you don't tell them their student loans. That's why you say this they're for something else. The money is for something else. And then you pay your own student loans off with his money that he thinks is going towards something that will benefit him, which it won't. Thank you, 1025. Say I'm a secretary, man. Pity asks why I really want to do. Tell him you want to be a, a mother. Just kidding. Don't say that. 1025 like, oh, well, I really want to have my own business and say something feminine, non-threatening. Oh, and I really just have my own little business like... You know, um, I want to sell um, online something, cosmetics or um, makeup or, you know, I want to uh, sell perfume or something stupid, some dumb. That way they're like, okay, she don't really have any career goals. So she pretty much is going to be dependent on me. So I don't have to worry about, you know, competition or her always being at work with the kids when the kids are home. If we do end up together, I don't have to worry about her challenging me, correcting me, or trying to outdo me. 
So she's okay. You know, thank you, Penny Love. What can I do to keep him interested until we have sex? He spent a lot of money and we're going on trips this week. Mm, show up, baby. If you're cute, he interested. Okay. Ask him for big money ticket items. The closer he thinks he's getting to it, the more he will spend. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Keisha, Keisha or Kasha, what do you think about meeting men online? They'll treat you exactly like that y'all met online. What are men looking for online? Wives or one night stands? He gonna treat you just like a one night stand. Piece of meat. Okay? Don't do it. Women are online looking for husbands and partners and potential. They're not looking for sex. Men are online looking for sex. So you meet them online, they're looking for sex. That's how they're gonna treat you. So don't be don't be upset. Okay. <laughs> how long can you stay without sex with your partner? As long as he ain't paying. That's how long. As long as he ain't investing. As long as he ain't doing right. <laughs> okay. Right. Thank you, Laura. Should I say that I'm looking for a generous man? Nope. That just sounds like I'm a gold digger. I'm looking for an, a gentleman. Gentlemen means they always pay. So just say, I'm looking for a gentleman, someone that knows how to treat a lady. That explains it all. Okay. How do I get my 47-year-old guy friend to spend money on me? It's a 21 age. Yeah. Expect it. Tell him to pay for it. Say, oh, you got it. Call him a big baller. Oh, you got it. You making money. Oh. Mr. Moneybags, make them feel good about spending. That's true. All right. Thank you, A. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I just saw that. I'm sorry. Hold on. Thank you, A. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, think bigger. Think longevity. Think how to use reverse psychology and get what you want. How to be safe as a young black woman while freestyling, I don't drive. Get a car, baby. Save up for a car or take taxi service. That's not Uber. That way it's on record. It's a company. A, B, C, and D. Don't leave your drink around people. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Tell somebody where you are before you leave. You know, post up where you are going. Um... Right. <laughs> take a, if you go if you're gonna meet a guy, take a picture of his driver's license or his license plate. I mean, get his name, leave it with somebody you trust. That's what you gotta do these days. Mm -hmm. Um, it's forty eight two old for the level up group. We have a thirty five and up level up group as well. So, yeah. How should I act, get money on trip on Sunday? Oh, um, ask. Come up with an issue where you need money. Or you can't concentrate on enjoying anything until you have the, the solution to your money problem. That's all. Mm-hmm. Nothing is worse than a man spending a lot of money on a date and you can't enjoy it because you're so worried about some bills or some money issue. It's a waste of money. Thank you, A. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm hmm How can you convince your mom that your dusty cheating father to leave your dusty cheat father? Girl, she probably so used to the dust. She probably don't know what to, how to operate without dust. You know what I mean? Some people stuck in their ways. They have law like beliefs in certain things that keep them trapped. So, 
Okay. Yours is spinning, but stop. How do I get him to start again? Cut him off, baby. Talk to him less and less. Have less time for him until he starts spending that money again. Okay. All right, y'all. I got to go. But thank y'all so much for tuning in. Sprinkle, sprinkle, everybody. Hit that like button on the way out so that I know that y'all like these type of videos. Um, comment, you know, yo, pick me, should fall in love story, get your heart broken in the permanent comments so we can live and learn from each other. Okay. All right. I'll see y'all later. Bye.